Good morning, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world and this day become a very special day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. My beautiful black folks, in the era of massive Trump of tilts of stilt skins, I call them Trump of stilt skins. There are millions of them, maybe a hundred million of them out there. And 99 and 9 tenths percent of them are white folks. They are responsible for the fact that today, in October, early October of 2020, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this country called America is literally in a dumpster fire. We are in a dumpster fire. Peaceful protesters are protesting nonstop in cities like Portland, Oregon, Chicago, Illinois, Denver, Colorado, Atlanta, Georgia. Birmingham, Alabama, et cetera, et cetera. America is likened to a dumpster fire in the era of Trump. As a certain coronavirus occupant of the white boy house brazenly intensifies his all-out assault on the Constitution, there has been an all-out assault, assault on the Constitution, on the free press, on the free press, on truth. There is an all-out assault on the truth. There's an all-out all assault on the law, the rule of law. And there is an all-out assault on order, on equality, on democracy, and everything that this plantation called America supposedly stand for. And our fellow fake as unpatriotic Americans, at least 100 million of them, and 99 and 9 tenths percent of them are white. These folks are in a state of confusion and outright berserk insanity following Trump, following Trump, emulating Trump, elevating Trump, bowing to at the feet of Trump, hanging on every word as that slit, S-L-I-T, on his face opens and closes. They are they are trying to destroy our O U R supply of liberty and justice for all. We have had a limited supply of that prior to the era of Trump. And that MAGA hat that they wear is their membership badge. Is their membership badge. The fact 
that they will not wear face covering is their membership badge into the tribe of Trump. For years, political scientists, historians, and a well-regarded organization called Every Black Person Who Ever Existed Every black person who ever existed have diagnosed this America, this America, with a neurological condition colloquially known as fucked up. America is fucked up. Now, America has always been fucked up. And America will remain fucked up until the rest of us, non-white folks, aggregate, organize, and put these white folks in their place. Put these white folks in their place out of positions of power and influence permanently, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. So the rest of us non-white folks can save our America so the rest of us non-white folks can save our planet, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. If you or someone you know watch the presidential debate and now suffer from the condition that the experts have turned, what happened to the illusion of truth? What happened to the illusion of equality? What happened to the illusion of national exceptionalism and the superiority syndrome slash whiteness? And I would say, have no fear. You're friendly neighborhood coons are here. Your friendly neighborhood coons are here. Luckily for you, not for us, this shit hurts. This shit hurts. Black folks, have acquired a few useful survival skills born from 401 years of navigating through chaos and disorder in a country that ignores our concerns, the concerns of black folks, people that look like me. From a country called America that tramples on the rights of black folks and from a country that historically called for white supremacists to stand by, to stand up, to stand by for duty. Whenever We asked, we asked the nation, this plantation called America, to stop being so damn racist. So to address the concern of those who are beginning to suspect that their country 
might be trash. There's a online newsletter called The Root, R-O-O-T, has created a handy-dandy eight-step guide to help white folks, white folks, our counterparts, survive and, dare I say, thrive, thrive under these adverse conditions as black folks, people that look like me, have thrived under adverse conditions right here on this plantation called America for 401 years. Those white folks might feel overwhelmed. They might feel overwhelmed today in October of 2020 by the rapidly spreading dumpster fires that you are currently inhaling. But as someone who has already been there, Let me assure you, white folks, you will get used to it as black folks. People that look like me have gotten used to it. Every day of my life as a black man in America, I am in a rage. I am in a rage, R-A-G-E have been that way all of the decades that I've been on this plantation called America. For for 401 years, black folks have been in a rage every day. Nonetheless, they have always managed to navigate to develop more survival skills to transcend the chaos, the disorder, the racism, etc., etc. I believe that James Baldwin, James Baldwin said that James Baldwin said that none of us can change all that we face. And that is still true today. None of us can change everything that we face. Nevertheless, we will never change anything that we do not face. None of us can change everything that we face, but we will not change anything if we cannot face it first, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. I would say to those white folks, those punk-ass white folks, those unpatriotic white folks, those Trump believers, those white supremacy believers, accept that your country is trash. Your country is trash. During the Colin Kaepernick protest year, when I realized that some people actually believe a lot of those white folks actually believe the bullshit that racist white folks propagated 
about the national anthem, about the military. And Trump was one of those propagators. I imagine, I begin to imagine, it feels good to romanticize the past, P-A-S-T. But if you squint, if you squint, S-Q-U-I-N-T, really hard at any history book, during the twilight during the twilight's last gleaming G-L-E-A-M-I-N-G that part of the national anthem if you squint real hard during the twilight's last gleaming you might discover that Francis, Francis Scott Key, Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner in 1814 when America allowed still the state sanctioned practice of enslaving. Black folks, Francis Scott Key was a racist to the core. Francis Scott Key wrote this Star Spangled Banner as a means to denigrate black folks, period. To denigrate black folks, period. Hence is why I care nothing about the Stars Spangled Banner, the national anthem today. It is trash to me. It is trash to me. It is trash to me. These United States would continue to permit in 1814 these United States would continue to permit its citizens to purchase human beings for another half century, long after Britain, France, Denmark, Sweden, Spain, Portugal, and the Netherlands stopped that slavery bullshit. All of those countries stopped the slavery bullshit. While racism exists in varying forms everywhere today, racism exists in varying forms everywhere. Those countries aforementioned did not replicate the uniquely American version of Jim Crow of Jim Crow of the Black Codes Jim Crow the Black Codes a color based dis enfranchisement and legalized second class citizenship that still exists in the land of the free and the home of the brave today slash right here on this plantation called America in October of 2020. Now, to be fair, I was really disappointed when I learned that Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, did not have 
barrettes, B-E-R-E-T-S, made out of raspberries. Crying doves are a single inch of purple, purple precipitation. The second thing these white folks need to do to navigate through these dumpster fires is to realize that they are part of the problem. White folks, you are part of the problem. You are pouring gasoline on all of the dumpster fires. You are trashing this plantation that we call America. Are you outraged that everyone that everyone is mute while the current administration tried to sabotage vote by mail effort? No. You're silent. You're saying nothing. You're doing nothing. Were you frazzled? Were you frazzled? Were you fearful? Were you concerned by a clarion call to the MAGA muffins, the MAGA muffin poll watchers to go to the polls and intimidate, especially black folks, to prevent black folks from voting. Well, you probably should have said something White folks, white folks, you probably should have said something. When Georgia's, the state of Georgia's Republicans purged 200,000 ballots in the state of Georgia, I bet you cried when they tossed another 209,000 over registrations in the state of Wisconsin. How about when they reduce early voting hours in Ohio? Did you say something about the poll tax on Florida's, the state of Florida's ex-felons who have served their time, who have paid for their crimes and still cannot vote? Did you share the study that shows black folks wait in line longer to vote? Or how did you react when all of those black votes vanished in the state of Georgia? All of those black votes just disappeared in the state of Georgia. I know. I know. Those incidents of voter suppression did not affect you, white folks. Did not affect you, racist white folks. Those incidents of voter suppression did not affect you, racist white folks. Those purges, P-U-R-G-E-S, those poll taxes, and those disappearing votes mostly affected black folks, people that look like me. So you white folks probably did not say anything 
And perhaps that's why the country wasn't, was not up in arms about it. And that's actually a good point. But, but, if you silently watched someone plan a robbery, you cannot cry when they take your shit away. If you silently watched someone plan a robbery, then please don't cry. Please don't cry when they take your shit away, white folks, racist white folks. There have been corruption, racist liars who tried to destroy America. There will always be corrupt racist liars who will try to destroy America. But this country will not, will not, will not, absolutely will not be destroyed by corruption. This country will not be destroyed by racism. This country will not be destroyed by liars and their lies. This country, this country will be destroyed because This country will be destroyed because someone, someone recognized the corruption. Someone recognized the racism. Someone recognized the lies and said nothing, did nothing remain silent white folks giving your consent to all of the corruption to all of the racism to all of the lies etc etc this country will be destroyed by those fake ass so called good white folks that remain silent, saying nothing, doing nothing, accepting all of the lies, corruption, and racism. And I would say to those racist white folks, stop loving America so damn much. Stop loving America so damn much you were rightfully appalled when Trump shouted out a violent supremacy group in front of 80 million Americans aside from the fact that this online magazine called The Root has been has been reporting on the Proud Boys and similar white supremacy groups for nearly four years now. And still, so many white folks will say that they don't know that these white supremacy groups like the Proud Boys even existed. the violent right-wing extremists that I'm talking about, these violent 
right-wing extremists did not spontaneously manifest themselves into existence. They probably came from the right-wing militias who claimed to want to protect the Constitution. Or maybe they came from the innocuous far-right groups like the Republican Party, whom the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security have been warning us about for many, many years. Yes, the Republican Party is under the same umbrella as the Proud Boys these far-right militia groups, these white supremacy groups, etc., etc. They're all synonymous with the platform of the Republican Party. Do you know that the nativist, the nativist movement of the 1830s, the KKK, the nativist movement of the 1920s, the Nazi movement, segregation movement, and the alt-right all evolved from supposedly patriotic groups who were intent on protecting Americans' values and keeping America first. The Republican Party profess, proclaim that they are for protecting our American values and keeping America first. The Republican Party is one of those nativist movements that are fake and unpatriotic and has a hidden agenda of white supremacy forever. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. But America isn't lines. America is not lines on a map or words on a piece of parchment paper. America is just people. America is really just people. Whenever someone cloaks themselves in the American flag, whenever someone profess, proclaim love for their country, or refer to themselves as patriots. They are usually preparing to grab their tiki torches and long guns so they can ignite a dumpster fire and start killing people who do not look like them. The Republican Party has a hidden agenda that requires them to carry tiki torches, long guns, and to kill black folks repeatedly. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, this is the first of a series that I will do on the dumpster fires that are destroying America. Stay safe. Stay healthy.